During Kevin Spacey's trial, Elton John made a shocking statement about Meghan Markle. John presented allegations regarding Markle's purported ties to disgraced directors Brett Ratner and Harvey Weinstein during his testimony. Concerns concerning Markle's behavior and limits have been raised by the revelations, especially in light of photos that appear to show her attending parties and mingling with the royal family. Elton John also brought up the troubling notion that this case might involve blackmail. It's clear that Spacey, Elton John, and Meghan aren't the greatest of friends, a four-day high court session revealed a falling out between them. Elton John provided details about Meghan's attendance at Hollywood parties, where claims of shady dealings and career advancement through dubious means have surfaced. Rumors suggest that Meghan's actions in Hollywood may have contributed to certain behaviors within the industry, posing concerns about her future conduct. Brett Ratner a well-known figure with a history of questionable business practices, has also come into the spotlight. There are claims that Meghan engaged in questionable methods to secure a role in the film Horrible Bosses after allegedly spending numerous nights with Ratner. Some speculate that she became friends with Ratner during this time, while Serena Williams downplays their connection. Finn John disclosed that Meghan attended many of Ratner's Hollywood parties, where she was one of the last to leave. During her early career, there were rumors of her attempting to manipulate the head of NBC Universal Studios with flirty texts, potentially for blackmail purposes. There is speculation that Elton John may have had a confrontation with Meghan, perhaps advising her to stop exploiting Princess Diana's image or memory, resulting in their strained relationship. Elton John is known for his strong willed character and his ability to distance himself from those who cross him, as seen in his tumultuous relationship with Princess Diana which only reconciled shortly before her tragic passing. Earlier this year, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were notably absent from Elton John's annual AIDS Foundation Oscars bash, further fueling questions about their influence in Hollywood. The couple's absence from prestigious Academy Awards events in 2023 has raised doubts about their status in the Hollywood scene, despite their high-profile move to California after stepping down as working royals. Elton John's event successfully raised a record $9 million for HIV prevention, stigma reduction, and providing HIV medicine, making their absence from the occasion even more noteworthy. Some more news for today. After a busy September full of travel and engagements, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have noticeably scaled back their public appearances in October. According to royal expert Arakia Skidmore, who co-hosts the Even the Royals podcast, this change of pace could be attributed to several factors. The royal couple may simply be taking a well-deserved break after their hectic schedule last month. I'd like to think they're taking some time to themselves after traveling around so much the past month, she told Daily Express US. Traveling extensively in such a short period can certainly be exhausting. Meghan and Harry jetted off to Germany, New York City, and the Caribbean all within a few weeks in September. However, Skidmore believes their lower profile is likely more than just a breather from a hectic schedule. I think the low profile is more of a general avoidance of the harsh media than any one specific thing. After facing some criticism for their back-to-back -back trips, including claims of hypocrisy related to their environmental advocacy, the couple may feel avoiding the limelight is best right now. Even scripted TV has taken shots at them lately, like a segment on Family Guy portraying them in an unflattering light. I would hope they don't watch it since it doesn't paint them in a great light, but I also would hope they don't care enough to be embarrassed, she said of the Family Guy skit. Ultimately, Skidmore hopes Harry and Meghan let any negativity towards them roll off their backs. Media, news, scripted TV, etc., will run with whatever narrative they want, and no one knows this more than Harry and Meghan, so I would hope they let it run off their shoulders. That or they just laughed along either everyone else and kept living their lives as is, unbothered.